Hi, I'm Jeff Jordan, Certified SolidWorks Application Engineer for Go Engineer. I'd like to talk about title blocks in SolidWorks Electrical 2015. Uh, title blocks are an important part of the 2D schematic tool, giving us an organized way to automatically present important information about our project in each individual page, such as document name, contract information, revision numbers, etc. Now as a disclaimer, before we get too far into this, I'm running SolidWorks Electrical 2015 and recommend that you do too. Uh, there have been some great in updates throughout 2014 and into 2015. Uh, for the scope of this video, the title block functionality is mostly unchanged, but the menus are new. Now, like everything else in SolidWorks Electrical, title blocks are based on the underlying SQL database, and SolidWorks and Electrical includes a few standard ANSI and ISO templates that are selected when you start a project to pull up some of that data. So when you choose ANSI, ISO, whatever, when you start a project, that's actually one of the things that gets filled in, is which title block template. So once you're in your project, you'll see that you can't manually edit title blocks like you can in some drafting software. There's nothing to select, there's nothing to type. So you'll need to see where the data is being pulled from and how it's displayed in order to change what appears here. Each type of document has its own title block templates that are automatically added, which can be easily chosen and swapped out under the Project Configurations menu, Title Blocks tab. For each document type, you get the title block's name, description, and a selection button, which takes you to the title block manager, which might look familiar if you played the library tab off the ribbon and selected the title block manager. So you've got your correct template for each document, but say you want to change what's displayed in that template. You can't click a box and edit it, for good reason, so you'll probably want to edit the project or document properties, then edit the title block to pull up the data where you want it. Now since my cover page is what people would see when they open the project, I want it to display some project specific properties. So let's go in and give our project some user data. So I'm gonna go over to my project tab, hit properties, and here's my project's properties. Some of this will be filled out when you start a new project, most of it'll be blank. So we're gonna give ourselves some user data, how about some very interesting user data, and let's give ourselves something for user data too. Now, we're on our cover page, and we're looking down here at user data too, we don't see anything. If we do a right click title block update, yes, still nothing. Now this ends up to be because our cover page title block by default shows cover page user data, not project user data. So that's what we're gonna fix. You can edit the title block through the title block open menu option or by selecting the appropriate template out of the title block manager. Either way, you're modifying every title block that's based on that template, so edit accordingly. Here we see the attributes, which all start with hashtags, and where they're displayed. So let's look at the user data ones. You notice we've got bundle TX0 and bundle TX1, which our menu over here shows us are the book's user data. We'll keep the labels and delete the data, and then add our own project's user data. You'll also notice that as you delete attributes from the title block, they go from blue to black, and vice versa as you add them, to show them what you used and what you haven't. One thing to note when working with title blocks is that you probably have to edit or turn off your snap settings, F9, it's the default shortcut, to get the text right in there where you want it, because it's so small. Now that we've edited the template, we save it, and it shoots us back to the cover page. Still no user data. No worries, we have to update the title block first. Right click, boom, there it is. I hope this intro to title blocks has helped. As a tie-in, I'd recommend checking out a great video from Bryce, also with Go Engineer, covering revisions as they're displayed within the title blocks and related. Thanks, and enjoy.